Hi, coders. We are going to display records that we are reading from a database. We have a little app here. It's called Display Records Demo. And right now, it is simply reading records from the questions table. And the questions table is a table with seven records. And they are quiz questions, country capital quizzes. Like the first one is, what is the capital of South Korea? The correct answer is Seoul. And if we run this app, we're going to read records from the questions table, and then we're going to log out all the records to the console. We run it, and down here in the console, we see an array of seven objects. And each object is a quiz question. What is the capital of South Korea? Correct answer is Seoul. And there are seven of them. It's an array of seven objects. So how do we... Great that we're getting the data back from the database, but how do we display this to the screen? Well, we have a little mock-up of a screen over here, and this is where we're going to want the question to appear, and then this is where we want the answer choices to appear. And if we look at the design tab, we have this screen element is called question, has an ID of question label. This screen element has an ID of choice one, and this is choice two, three, and four. So we know to make something show up on the screen, we do a set text. So we're going to do a set text to question label. But what do we put for the value? Let's play around a little bit. So we know it's going to be a set text question label, comma. And then now we need to know what do we want to set the text to. And we want to use the information from this record to set the text. If we look at the first object in the array it has a property question and then it has this value what is the capital of South Korea well let's break it down first of all records is an array so we know records if we want to get the first item in the array that's at index 0 so we do record 0 and that would get us the entire first object, the first thing in the array, this object, this entire object here. We don't want the entire object to show up on this label. We just want the question to show up on that label. So how do we get a value from an object? We do dot and the property name, and the property name is question. So this is fairly complicated. We are saying, give us the item in the records array at index 0, this object. And then from that object, give us the value of the question property. Question property. So what is the capital of South Korea? So when we run it, we should see, instead of this is where the question will appear, we should see right here, this is the capital of South Korea. Let's run it. And it works. Awesome. What about all the other labels, the answer choices? Same format. So we're just going to copy this, Command C, Command V. And instead of setting the screen element question label, we want to set choice one. And we still want to get the first item in the records array, the item at index zero. But we no longer want the question. Now we want, say, the correct answer. So we change this to correct answer and now we should get the value of whatever is in the correct answer property and we need to add our semicolons so we can get rid of those yellow triangles and we reset and we run and yes it is displaying the correct answer and then same thing for the other answer choices we'll copy this three times and we'll just change it now we want to set the text of choice two choice three choice four and we still want records zero, this object. But instead of correct answer, we want distractor one, then two, then three. So let's just change this. And we can just copy this and paste over two. And finally, paste over distractor and change it to distractor three. 
and now we have our app wired up and it is displaying the entire question object the first object in the records array what is the capital of south korea seoul tokyo hong kong or shanghai so that is displaying so that is reading records from a database and then displaying those records to the screen thank you